here we have another tricky looking complex fraction. I think with a, something this complicated, the best thing to do is rewrite the big fraction as a division problem. So the top divided by the bottom. So I could rewrite this as 2x to the seventh over x minus seven divided by x minus two over five x minus 35. And then, of course, we can rewrite that as a multiplication problem by just flipping the second fraction. So we have 2x to the 7th over x minus 7 times 5x minus 35 over x minus 2. Now, at this stage, you could jump right ahead and do the multiplication, but it's always going to help to look for factors uh, that you could cancel. So if there's any factoring to be done here, that would help us. And this piece up here looks like a good candidate. If I factor a five out of there, I get five times x minus seven. And you'll notice I have an x minus seven on the bottom. So let me rewrite this whole problem. Two so x to the seventh over x minus seven. So before I start my multiplication, I'm going to cancel out one of these complicating factors. And this is going to become a lot simpler to do. Now on the top, I just have 2x to, to the 7th times 5. Well, that's 10x to the 7th. And on the bottom, I just have x minus 2. So that is a way to approach uh, these tricky complex fractions. Make sure you're looking for factors that can cancel.